Hey guys, how is it going? And today we're going to talk about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and the whole Gen 7 Pokemon uh, sort of speculation. So basically what occurred is that Virgibon, the leaker, said that there will that the Gen 7 uh, Pokemon will not be Decidueye, Mimikyu, or Lycanroc. Now whether this is true or not, um, we know that Mimikyu got deconfirmed um, in the Smash Direct that we just saw the other day. So no Mimikyu. This leaves Decidueye and Lycanroc for that leak. But today what I wanted to do is I wanted to go through a couple of Gen 7 Pokemon who I think have the highest chance of making it into Smash. And I'm going to kind of rate their possi possible chances of getting into the game. And I'm going to sort of break down uh, some of the ones I think are the most likely. I'm going to start, though, with Decidueye to just get him out of the way. Do I think Decidueye is going to be the Gen 7 rep? Now, obviously, I, I am taking what Virgibent said, and I'm kind of putting that aside for now. Because we don't know if it's actually true or not. So, what I'm going to say is... Is Decidueye the Gen 7 Pokemon... I still think it's possible, but I'm not sure. He seemed to be the most popular, but then there were also some cl conflicting uh, reports that Incineroar was actually pretty much just as popular as Decidueye. I like to think that they're both equally as popular. Um, so, you know, he uses a bow and arrow, he has wings so he would be able to fly. And he's also a ghost type uh, Pokemon, so he has ghost potential um, for various moves, whatever that entails. Obviously, he has his um, Z move from Pokemon that could just simply that could simply just be his final smash. Um, that would be pretty easy. Not a lot there, and uh, that goes for everybody. If they have a Z move, then that means basically that there you go, you have a final smash right there. Um, but yeah, so do I think Decidueye will be the Pokemon? You know, on, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know. Because, you know, you have Bow and Arrow. That makes me think of Link and Pit. Um, it's nothing new. A character with wings is really nothing new. Although we don't have a ton of Pokemon with wings. We do have Charizard who has wings. So we kind of technically don't need another Pokemon that has wings, but, you know. As far as... So, I'm going to say... There's two things I'm going to say. I'm going to say, do I think it will happen, and then do I want it to happen? So do I think this will actually happen? Decidueye as the Gen 7 rep. I'm going to say, maybe. I'll give it... I'll give it a chance. But I actually don't really think so. So I think, so in actuality, I think the the choice is split between three representatives, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say who those three representatives are in just one moment. I wanted to kind of bring up an honorable mention though, as I was scrolling through uh, the list of Alolan, I was trying to see if any of them stuck out uh, to me as like, oh, this Pokemon would be absolutely perfect for this game and really the only ones were Raichu you know Alolan Raichu and regular Raichu and Marowak put Raichu to the side I don't think that's gonna happen but Marowak and Alolan Marowak they seem to be similar enough to put Marowak in the game and then have an Echo being Alolan Marowak or just put in Alolan Marowak that's an honorable mention to this list, because you know what, I don't think that's going to happen. And looking through this list of Alolan Pokemon, I don't think we're going to get an Alolan Pokemon. One other thing I wanted to say really quickly was that I kind of was sort of thinking, you know, what if we had a Team Rocket character, or if we had a character that was like the Pokemon Trainer and it had three Pokemon. But of course the problem is is that if, if they were to put in Team Rocket, it would be Meowth, Arbok, and coughing 
uh, not coughing, wheezing. And the problem is, I feel like the moveset potential, especially on wheezing, is not very good. And, you know, Arbok, I feel like he wouldn't, he would not bring in a very special moveset. And really neither would Meowth, to be honest. Despite being a character we all know, a classic Pokemon, I just don't feel like there's much potential for that. So that's something I wanted to say really quickly about that. But, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in to the other two characters that I think legitimately have a chance. So there's only three characters here. The next one is obviously Incineroar. So, I also think Cineroar, Incineroar has about as much of a chance as Decidueye. I feel like... It is really split between these two, to be completely honest. Although, since I've been thinking about it, I have a feeling that they're going to throw a curveball candidate in our direction, and that I will talk about in a second. But Incineroar, he's a wrestler. He's a wrestling cat Pokemon, which means he's a fighting Pokemon. Not a, not a fighting type, but he is a Pokemon that fights, so, or wrestles if you technically want to call that fighting. So, Incineroar lends him, him or herself well to this game. Better, I think, than Decidueye does. Now, whether, you know, whether it comes down to Decidueye or Incineroar, to be honest, I want Incineroar, actually. I know we don't have a grass, uh, full evolved uh, grass representative, but... If you were to put Decidueye or Incineroar, I would pick Incineroar. I just think he's cooler, um, and I think, and I think the way he is lends better to Smash. I think he would just be a more fun combatant. How with Decidueye, you have the bow and arrow, you got the wings, you got the ghost moves. Um, I just feel like an Incineroar, fire type, fighting. He would probably be really fast on his feet. Could probably have a lot of cool moves in the air. Um, I just, I just think Incineroar would be a cooler pick. Okay, and to finish this video off, I'm gonna tell you the third curveball character that, honestly, after really thinking about this, this is the Gen 7 rep I think we're going to get. So here it is. Necrozma. That's right, Necrozma. And now, before you say he's too huge, he's too big, he's actually not. He is very wide, um, but in terms of height, he's actually 7 foot 10, and that would make him, I think, the tallest Pokemon yet to be included. But actually, Bayonetta is still taller, technically, given her cannon height. She's over 8 feet tall. So, uh, all I'm saying is, Necrozma, we've learned from Ridley that, I guess, a character that's sort of cutting it in terms of height, he's actually not too big, Necrozma. And, you know what? I think Necrozma is a good pick for this game. Now, I don't think he should have, um, you know, the Solgaleo and Lunala, you know, combination character, Dusk Main Necrozma and Dawn Wings. I don't, I don't think they should do that. Maybe they could do two alternate final smashes, perhaps. Um, although his actual final smash should be him turning into Ultra Necrozma. That would be a perfect Final Smash. And the thing I was going to say was that I wanted Ultra Necrozma to be a boss battle, but thinking about that a little more, actually, I think the character Guzzlord would actually fit better in a boss in a boss setting better than Ultra Necrozma would. Ultra Necrozma, I think, would, would be a very cool Final Smash for Necrozma. Um... I, I would like them to work in uh, the two other versions of Necrozma somehow, but I don't think that... I think they would probably just leave that out. 
Um, I don't know how they would do that, but it doesn't matter. So Necrozma with an Ultra Necrozma Final Smash. I think that just works so perfectly. Um, and then, of course, if you want to say, well, then who's the you know Pokemon boss going to be? Well, it could definitely be Guzzlord, or it could be somebody else. It could be some other Pokemon. Although Guzzlord, I think, fits that boss battle uh, physique and sort of identity. He fits that a lot better. So... Here's, so here's what I'm going to say. I think the Gen 7 Pokemon character is going to be Necrozma. That might be a controversial opinion, but I just think Necrozma is so cool. Um, and come on, an Ultra Necrozma Final Smash, that's so cool. He would obviously be behind the stage, just like he is in the boss battle you have with him in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And he could just... Oh, oh, he could do that crazy move. I forget what the name is. I think it's Moongeist Beam. It's that crazy, super powerful move that just would dominate every one of your Pokemon in one hit. I mean, that could very easily be his final smash. All right, so that's where I'm going to end it. So basically my thoughts, the three possible Gen 7 rep, Decidueye, Incineroar, Necrozma, and the one who I think is going to get in is Necrozma. Don't ask me why. I think that would maybe upset some fans. I don't know. You know, whatever. Put all three in. I don't care. <laughs> no, they would definitely not do that. If anything, they would put in... They're going to put in Incineroar and Necrozma. That's who I'm going to say. Which uh, Gen 7 Pokemon do you think is going to make it into Smash? Let me know if you agree, if you disagree. I think probably a lot of you would disagree on this one. But just tell me what you think. Um, I also said Alolan Marowak seems to have a chance. He seems like he could uh, fit Smash very well with his physique and his bone club. It could definitely fulfill uh, a fighting style that we do not have yet. So, yeah, there you go. So, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Keep on fighting. Have a fantastic day.